essentially Antigua is COVID free as we speak. There is no one who's been tested and identified as having COVID has it anymore. Minister Joseph outlining a major positive in the fight against COVID-19, but he cautioned against triumphalism, insisting this is just the first battle in the war and more battles lie ahead. One of the individuals who had a tested positive is still in hospital despite having two consecutive negative tests. The minister explains why. We had two individuals at Mount St. John Medical Center. They were on ventilators. Of the two, one has since been discharged from the hospital. And there is only one individual in the hospital now. That person does not have COVID anymore, but is being cared for at the hospital because of the nature of the type of care that is required. Crucial to the nation's response are testing and tracing. The minister announced 20,000 more swabs are to arrive in the island to prop up declining supplies. This will enable the authorities to carry out even more testing. So far, just over 600 people have been tested. I asked the minister about the number he would have ideally liked to have seen tested at this point. I would say maybe 1,000 would be a good number. And we could very well uh, achieve that when we get the, um, the supply of swabs that we anticipate should be here. Okay. I do not think that um, the additional testing would show any difference in the results, but it would make a lot more people comfortable. And regarding local testing, that continues at Mount St. John's Medical Center. However, the results are still being validated by the Caribbean Public Health Agency, CARFA. The minister wants a definitive timeline for when results can be provided independently of CARFA's validation. Dr. Simon is very, uh, he's a very cautious individual. As you know, he wants to be sure he's absolutely right. Um, but it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't take much longer um, for him to start the testing and the results being released in Antigua and Barbie.